today we are going to give you guys a taste of a 1975 Oldsmobile 98 Custom Cruiser. This is a car that I've owned for a few months because I'm reproducing at middle age and it's a real throwback. So let me give you a real quick walk around to show you why I like this thing. So this is typically a car in my younger years. I would have never, you could have paid me to buy this car. But I've got two little boys and a wife and a 12 and a half year old funny looking Boston Terrier and sometimes we all have to go to the same place and we fit nine in this car. Three in the back, three in the middle, and three up front. Totally illegal, but three up front. The Oldsmobile 98 is 22 feet long, 5,800 pound land yacht. And I don't know if you remember, but when we were little kids and you were putting your wet finger in your brother's ear in the back seat and your dad had a cigarette ash hanging off his lip, well, that's what this car brings it back to me for. It's really nostalgic. All beautiful vinyl seats, right? Held up. This is an original paint car, original interior. Everything is really original. It's, a, it's the big block V8 455 motor. Uh, roll down windows, front seat, you got the armrest, I don't know if you noticed that, but you got the armrest inside, so comfort is not sacrificed. Uh, around the front of the car, we have this tremendous front end, built in Oldsmobile, look at that license plate. So I find this thing to be real Americana Detroit steel, I love it. I've owned probably 90, 100 cars uh, in the 23 years I've been alive, and um, I'm more of a car custodian. I don't keep things, they come through me, I try to make them a little better, run better, and then off to a permanent owner. Uh, so that's what's gonna happen with this car we're gonna put up for sale. Stock wheels, again, no tinted windows, glass is clean, rubbers are good. This is a really smooth car. Look at that dash. Your tilt wheel in this car when you're driving it and that nice low dash gives you great, great vantage point driving and it's just one big lazy boy. It's like honestly hanging out on a water bed. Every time you hit a bump, the car's moving for minutes at a time. Uh, in the back here is where all the glory is. So, you know, not to get too interpersonal, but sometimes the backside's the best side. Well, this car has got a beautiful backside. There's actually a function on this car where it opens up the gate. I'm gonna show you and grab those. All right, man, hold on to your bridges. Look at that. 1975. We still don't know if milk is good for you, but they were able to get that gate up and the window up and you could put all your stuff in there and off to the races all by switch on the dashboard. Party for nine. No more minivans, guys. We can grow a mustache, have the elbow pads on our jackets, and do this in a much cooler way than we ever did before. So this lever pops this up. This buckles it so you can get back there nice and easy. So my buddy Ryan who's shooting this is six foot five. Are you six foot five? Six three, but we're close. Uh, I see him standing on his toes a lot. <laughs> So, uh, so for him, we'll have to Vaseline his hips. But for me, at 5'9", I get back here with very little bit of pain. Oh, so comfortable. Are we there yet? We there yet? 